Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Andy Palmer, CEO of Aston Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Aston Martin. Last year I stood on this very stage and shared our vision for transforming this British company into a great British company. As befits a company that is 103 years old, we have a business plan that is designed to make us sustainably successful over the next 100 years. And to be successful, we have to simultaneously re-engineer the company while at the same time nurturing the essence of what makes Aston Martin so special. Beautiful, powerful, handcrafted cars. Our six-year, second-century plan is built on four product pillars. Sports cars, a new crossover, saloons, and our growing range of special series limited volume vehicles. In a moment, we'll show you the all-new DB11, the first of our next generation sports cars and the catalyst of transformation. On average, for the six years of our plan, we will launch a new car derivative every nine months. By the end of this decade, we will not only replace every car in our current range, but add up to three model lines and will enter segments new to the company. Not only is this the most intensive product launch period in the company's history, but it's being achieved as a truly independent luxury company, a status that we celebrate and a status that allows us to be agile and innovative. While it's true that being independent brings its own challenges in our industry, we're charting our own future and creating a lean, agile, sustainable luxury business for the long term. Throughout its history, Aston Martin has always had a passion for creating bespoke and rare cars. In recent times, with vehicles like the 177 and CC100, our special vehicle operations has now become a significant contributor to the overall success of the business. And just as we launched two special vehicles last year with the Vantage GT12 and the Vulcan, well, so later this year we will follow with two new vehicles that will epitomise the best of Aston Martin bespoke design and high performance. At Geneva last year, we unveiled the DBX concept. The DBX is a sports crossover, a car created to show how Aston Martin will address the needs of a new generation of luxury customers. Last week, we announced a significant milestone in the development of this crossover with a confirmation that we will create a dedicated new manufacturing facility at St. Athen in Wales. With full production scheduled to start in 2020, our new factory at St. Athen will create up to 750 new jobs in Wales and three times that across the supply base and the local community. Also affirming our long-term commitment to the United Kingdom, we've also confirmed that our existing factory in Gaydon will be the centre for all sports car production and will remain the global headquarters for the company. In total, we'll be creating up to 1,000 new jobs in the UK 
between now and 2020. Although Aston Martin is renowned for its powerful, large capacity V engines, we also see a very different but complementary powertrain need for the future. Specifically, we want to create a new range of zero and low emission vehicles, starting with the new Rapid E. Planned for launch in 2018, the Rapid E will be the first ever all electric Aston Martin. For this project, we're joining forces with leading global technology company, La Echo, who will help us create the first of what we intend to be a new range of electrically powered Aston Martins. Finally, the value of Aston Martin is not only expressed through our current production vehicles, but by collectors of our, our historic and rare cars. And there can be no rarer Aston Martin than the DB10 that was created for the James Bond film Spectre. The Spectre DB10 was recently sold at auction for $3.5 million, with all proceeds going to charity. And when you consider that the buyer now owns a piece of automotive and cinematic history, as the only DB10 ever to be offered for public sale, the price really doesn't seem that high. But today, today is about celebrating another DB, and possibly the most anticipated in our history, a car that we believe will be as important to us and as iconic as the DB5. Since the first of David Brown's cars, which was launched in 1950, these two simple letters have evolved to become one of the most iconic and enduring names in car history. Of the 80,000 cars that we have ever produced in our entire history, around a third wear the DB badge. Yet the DB lineage is how most people read the evolution of the entire company. To own an Aston Martin DB is to own the quintessential British GT car. I'd now like to invite on stage our Chief Creative Officer, creator of this beautiful car, Marek Reitman, and representatives from our employees, shareholders, suppliers, dealers, and management. such icons as DB24, DB5, DB9, and most recently the DB10, developed specifically for James Bond. Built on a completely new, lighter, stronger, and more space-efficient bonded aluminium structure, manufactured by a technology, a real technology-leading process that in my opinion almost approaches alchemy, the DB11 is the most powerful, most efficient, and most dynamically gifted DB in the history of Aston Martin. This car heralds a new design era for Aston Martin. It's an authentic, dynamic, sporting GT in the finest Aston Martin tradition. The epitome of Aston Martin's progressive design language, DB11 
reimagines the relationship between form and function with a series of beautifully detailed yet highly functional design signatures. At the front of the car, a single piece of aluminium forms the largest clamshell bonnet of any production car anywhere. Front end lift is reduced by the gill-like curly cues which release high pressure air from the inside of the wheel arch via a concealed vent within the redesigned side strake. Meanwhile, downforce is provided by the Aston Martin Aeroblade, a virtual spoiler. Air is ducted through the bodywork before venting as a jet of air from the aperture in the rear deck lid. An elegant, uncompromising solution to reducing drag and increasing downforce. Like every Aston Martin, the heart of the DB11 is found beneath the bonnet. Unlike any Aston Martin before it, the DB11's heart is a 5.2 litre twin turbocharged V12 engine. Designed in-house, this new engine develops 600 brake horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque making DB11 the most powerful production DB model ever. Naturally, it's the most dynamic and most accelerative too, with a top speed of 200 miles an hour and a 0 to 62 miles per hour time, which is sub four seconds. Thanks to intelligent bank activation and start-stop technology, that potency is matched by a greatly improved efficiency. To exploit the advantages of this new body structure and harness the immense performance of the new twin-turbo V12 engine, the, DB's, the DB11's chassis, suspension, steering and electronics have been newly created to deliver a truly next-generation Aston. The result is a Grand Tourer that combines exemplary ride and comfort and true sports car agility for an extraordinary breadth of dynamic capability. The story on the inside is just as beautiful and just as revolutionary. With a wider door aperture, DB11 offers significantly increased occupant space, especially headroom and legroom in the rear. Fully integrated rear ISOFIX mounting points for a pair of child seats plus a luggage compartment large enough to accommodate two golf bags. The DB11 is a genuine 2 plus 2 Grand Tourer. DB11 brings a handcrafted interior combined with the latest generation of technology. As a true 21st century Aston Martin, the DB11 combines the very latest electrical architecture developed in conjunction with our technical partner, Daimler. DB11 features a full-color 12-inch display presenting an all-new instrument cluster with absolute clarity. A second centrally mounted 8-inch screen is dedicated to infotainment, satellite navigation and of course powering our premium audio systems. Since the start of this year, we've been previewing DB11 to prospective VVIP customers, and I'm delighted to announce that over, over 1,000 orders have already been placed, and I confirm that I'll be personally inspecting every one of these cars prior to delivery. Aston Martin's intrinsic DNA is derived from Lionel Martin driving up Aston Hill. And Aston is really racing again. We're creating an independent luxury company that honours the vision of our founders 
yet is forward-looking and unashamedly celebrating the art of making beautiful, handcrafted performance cars. Ladies and gentlemen, the brand new DB11, moving us from being a great British company and making us into a great British company. Thank you very much.